Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, please hit that red subscribe button. So when I release new video, you'll be the first to get the notification. All right, in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning PayPal subscription integration. Okay, this is their current subscription API released. The former one has been deprecated because I've made similar video in the past, but it's no longer working. This is the reason why I need to do it again with the new documentation. All right. So to integrate the subscription API, first set up our development environment, then we'll create our product. Next, we'll create our plan and then our subscription. Okay. So setting up our development environment just has to do with creating an app, getting our client ID and secret key. I've done similar tutorial in the past. You can watch it. The link is in the description box. That's paper sandbox creation. That's if you don't know how to do it. Okay. So this is my dashboard. I have already logged in. All right. On that sandbox because we are still dealing with our texting. I created an app. The name is Varaskio 247. So this is where you will get your client ID, then you get your secret key here. All right. So that's by the way. So if you scroll down, you can see we exchange, you exchange your API credentials for an access token. Okay, in order to have an access to PayPal REST, REST API server, we need to create an access token. Okay, so to get your access token, can, it can be done using COIL or Postman. All right, but for this tutorial, we're going to be making use of COIL. All right. Okay, um, we're going to copy the following code and modify it. Okay, the main aim is just to get our exchange of API credential for an access token. So we'll be able to have an access to PayPal REST API server. So we're going to click on this and copy. And um, go over to this website. What it does is to convert coil to PHP. Okay, we're going to paste our call here and it has already converted that. So just copy that. Move over to our development environment, our code editor, and paste it right there. Okay, into this file name access token.php file, and this is our the only file we have there inside this paper underscore sub folder all right so when we, well what we need to modify here is just to get paste our client id and secret key so go over to our paper dashboard into this our app that we have created copy our client id and this is a secret key we'll copy that later so paste that over there secret key copy that make sure the status is enabled or else you will have an error copy that all right so next thing up is to make some changes to our core script okay we just delete that and just Define a variable, call it error, ERR. Just use function coil underscore error function. Then pass our call variable. Okay, so next thing up is to Use an if statement. If there's any error, pass this variable error. If there's an error, a 
echo error concatenate that then pass our error variable else else if there's no error we're going to define a variable call it response Then use a function json underscore decode all right we're trying to assess our result from the call execution as an object property so we're going to pass our result variable in the json underscore decode function close that with a semicolon So we're going to use a function for now, variable underscore dump. So we know what we'll have inside once it's dumped. All right, so we are going to text, okay, section about to expire, login. Oh, I've been logged out again. I need to be back in. So, refresh that to run this script. Could not resolve host posts. Error could not resolve host posts. Hmm. Okay, this host post, that's the, where the problem is coming from. Okay, this copy the plain code and modify. This is our host post. So I'm just going to copy this. And paste it there. Now, this should work, I believe. Now refresh that to run the script. All right, we have done that. Um, these are the results, the response results. So this is our access token. Okay, and this is the access token that we need. All right, this access token lasts for 15 minutes, sometimes for eight hours. But in my own integration i will always like to get the access token each time a user wants to make uh, each time a user wants to have an access to the paper rest api instead of checking if the access token has expired or not token type here a app underscore id this is the app id expires in the seconds that's 2375 seconds all right so in order to assess this access token because this is what we need we have exchanged that with our client id and secret e so to do that we head back here comment this out so we're going to use um use an if statement now if Okay, no, not yet. Just define a variable, we'll call it access underscore token. So in order to get to this access token, we're going to pass through this variable response. So our response using this arrow key to access it as an object property then access underscore token because that's what we have here okay then close that with the semicolon
So even if for variable dump it, access token. We're still going to get it. All right, we're having only the access token. See, so that is it. So we are correct. We were able to access it accurately. So now, using if statement, if um, if the condition is true, just to be sure if this was gotten from here we are going to redirect because from our integration our step is towards set up our development id which i have explained that is where we are going to at least get the access token in order to have an access to the rest api of paper then create our product so the second step is to create product. So in order to do that, we're going to, the access token we must have gotten from here, we're going to pass it. So, sorry for that, I'm getting a call. So if that condition is true, access token, we are going to use a head function, header, then location. So we are now heading to our PHP file where we can be able to create our products. And to create our product, we need to, to create our product, we need to pass this access token in the URL, then use a get php gets global variable to fetch it all right so location let's say the name of our file will be create product let's call it create product.php then waste your mark the name will be let's say access token So this is where we're going to concatenate it and pass that variable there, access token. All right, I think this is just about it. So our next tutorial, we're going to be dealing on how to create our product, okay? So when we refresh this, okay, I've commented that out. I'm going to refresh this. All right, I think that worked perfectly. Yes, the createspro.php file, we don't have it yet. We'll have that in our next tutorial, but this is our access token. That is just it. This is what we want. All right, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like in this tutorial, and stick with me on the next section. All right. Bye-bye.